Good evening, and welcome to this special edition of Inside U of SC. I'm Josh Wise, Director of Communications Marketing for University Housing. This evening will be a different show. We will be going through our normal orientation presentation, as well as our family presentation about move-in. We'll be mixing in some checklists and some things that you'll need due to our enhanced wellness program and the different things involving COVID for this fall. Now, typically we would ask you to populate your questions in the comment section. However, in this show, we're going to go straight through the presentation. And if you have additional comments or questions, you can ask them to our social media team, uh, either in the comment section or at a later time. So sit back and let's get started with our presentation. Before you arrive to campus, these are the checklists that you're going to need to, to look at before you arrive to campus. First of all, a lot of great information can be found at sc.edu slash move in. This site is constantly updated and, and many times if you check back, you'll notice uh, date time stamps that will show you that when the information on a page has been updated. Next, know your move in day. There's just about 700 folks left that haven't signed up for their move in day and time. You can register for this until tomorrow on my.sc.edu in the housing portal. You'll want to make sure you select a time. If you don't select one by August 1st, our team will automatically select a time and day for your move in. If you haven't yet, check out the building and community you'll be living in this fall. We provide residence hall tours on housing.sc.edu, as well on our YouTube channel, you can check out 360 videos of all of our residence halls. Get to know your roommate. Roommates and room assignments were posted on your housing portal on my.sc.edu on July 15th. If you haven't started the process of getting to know your roommate, you need to do this before you arrive. Figure out what you're going to be bringing to campus. Too many times we've seen people that didn't communicate before arriving and they end up with double of the things that only one person needed to bring. It's no fun carrying two 60 inch TVs into a residence hall room only to watch one of them leave a short while later. So make sure you meet your roommate, get to know them and start planning for your move in day. Campus parking this year can only be purchased online. So we highly encourage you to visit the parking services page on sc.edu and purchase your parking pass before arriving to campus. Their offices will not be accepting walk-ins this year. Don't forget, you must sign your COVID-19 housing contract addendum. Now, many of you have had questions about this and on our move-in site, we have added a COVID-19 contract addendum page. Some of the questions and answers on here are very helpful. We've received a lot of questions specifically along this lines. Does the addendum slash force majeure clause mean that students will not receive a refund for housing if the residence halls must close for things such as COVID-19? Quite simply, the force majeure clause refers to not reimbursing for damages to students as a result of the events listed in that item. So in the clause, in the contract, a lot of the things are the responsibilities of the students. And if the students are not complying with wearing face masks and, and things related to COVID, then yes, over time, we would not be able to refund their money. However, if University Housing closes the residence halls for COVID-19 like it did last spring, housing fees would be refunded on a prorated basis. There are additional questions at the COVID-19 contract addendum FAQ. Make sure you check this out and go ahead and get that contract addendum signed as quickly as possible. It's one of the mandatory steps you'll need to take before calling Carolina home this fall. Next, all residents must have property and liability insurance to live in university housing. When you are working through your contract, you were given the opportunity to purchase renter's insurance through GradGuard. If you choose not to do that, many people will put it on their homeowner's insurance or take in a separate policy out altogether. But remember, liability, property and liability insurance is there to protect you in the case of a, of a natural disaster and other things that could happen. So make sure you've got that uh, insurance policy before you arrive on campus. Immunizations. 
are an important part of coming to Carolina. Immunizations outside of the COVID-19 testing must be completed in order to move into your residence hall. So please make sure you've taken care of that. That can easily be checked out on your My Health Space page uh, through the Student Health Services uh, Department. Remember, COVID-19 testing must be completed and uploaded to the My Health Space uh, portal within 14 days of your move-in date. To be clear, within 14 days, you must take the test, get your results, and upload them in order to proceed with the move-in process. Now, last evening, um, Dr. Beck from our Student Health Services said, if you weren't able to get that test, you'd be able to come to campus and take a test. That's correct. However, there are many things that will run much smoother if you go ahead and get this step taken care of before you arrive. For instance, if you were to do that, we have limited space for quarantine, but you're gonna be missing out on the first floor meeting meeting people in that normal built community building time, as well as some of the welcome week activities because you will be quarantined. And quarantine means you will not be able to leave the uh, living space that you're placed in until you can move into your residence hall. So please make sure you go ahead and get everything taken care of prior to your arrival. Carolina cards will be available at move in if you have uploaded your photo prior to August 3rd. Your Carolina card is very important to your experience. It's your access to, build, to our residence halls. It's also your dining meal ticket. It's all kind of things. So you wanna make sure that you've got that Carolina card ready to go and we have it available for you as you move in on your move in day. An important reminder, university fees must be paid by August 12th, 2020 at 5 p.m. If you don't do this, things, important things like card access on your Carolina card will go dead the next day. So please, please make sure you get those university fees paid by August 12th. Let's move on to move-in day. Move-in day this year is going to be awesome. It's gonna look a little different, but it's an exciting time, not only for a family, but also for our, our incoming students. Remember, this is a time that can be full of all types of emotions. Oftentimes you will start off with hurry, hurry in the morning to having an argument before you make it somewhere for breakfast. As you continue that drive in, there's all this adrenaline and excitement as you get here. You check in, you're decorating your room, mom and dad have kind of taken over. And then there's that, that, that goodbye that gets you a little emotional and choked up, but then it's on to some exciting new adventures as we welcome you to the floor meetings and to welcome week. And, um, they're all kind of great things, but this day is going to be full of a lot of emotions. So again, those checklists, as you're thinking about things that have to be completed, get them done. Make this day a memorable one, not one that's, that makes you go to the health center and to other locations to finish your checklist before we can move you into the residence hall. Remember, important notice, you can only move, into your move in on your scheduled move-in day and time no earlier than that time. So please remember, if you are running behind, there's traffic, you can always move in a little later, but you can't move in before your move-in day and time. Residents will not be allowed to move in without completion of the mandatory checklist either. So please, at the conclusion of today's presentation, we'll be reviewing that checklist to make sure you've got everything taken care of in your housing portal at my.sc.edu. Remember, all guests uh, company, coming to campus for move-in, including our residents and staff, must all be wearing a face covering for move-in. University Housing and the University of South Carolina will provide you with face coverings. However, you won't get those until after you check in. So please bring your own mask to wear until you can get your, your USC mask. Please remember there's a limit of two guests per resident for moving into residence halls this fall. That's the student and two guests. These need to be unique guests. You can't switch guests out during the day. We need to keep them unique as we're trying to limit touch points and contact points. Hey, we live in, the, we live in South Carolina, and it's often hot and humid and even sometimes rains on move-in day. So please remember to pack and wear the appropriate clothing. Remember to bring a bottle of water, a reusable bottle of water for one of our filling stations. Hydrate throughout the day. And remember to pack your patients. There's always gonna be a line somewhere or something's not gonna quite go right. 
It, it could be just the simple task of moving all those boxes in. Pack your patience. It's going to be all right. You're going to have a great day, a memorable day, and we can't wait for, for you to call Carolina home. Picking up your shipped packages will be so easy, you'll be doing a drive-through system at the old Carolina Coliseum off of the Blossom Street going towards the river. You'll pull in and you'll present your Carolina card to pick up your packages. This is an easy way to do this, which means you're going to need to check into your residence hall before coming by to pick up those shipped packages because you have to have the Carolina card first. If you're a returning student, you can simply drive in, present your card, and pick up your packages before you move in. A reminder when you're packing and getting ready to come, unfortunately because of our, our parking garages, no moving trucks, no RVs, trailers, or car toppers are allowed in the move-in traffic patterns. So when preparing, remember a van or, or, an, or a large vehicle that can fit in our parking garage in one space is appropriate to bring. If you're planning on bringing multiple vehicles, remember one parking pass is allowed at a time. So park in an a, a remote lot and switch your cars out for unloading purposes. Don't forget to bring a hand truck this year. As we're social, as a part of our physical and social distancing, we're no longer providing carts. A lot of questions and, and pleas to bring those carts back, but those carts that we provide at Move In, while we have a hundred, hundreds of them, they're cardboard boxes, and there's no great way to sanitize those boxes in between uses without damaging the boxes. Also, our volunteers team that's normally here to assist because of social distancing and physical distancing, we're no longer going to have that team available. While we understand that this might provide a little extra anxiety or work on, on our families, we do understand that your safety is paramount. And with that, we hope that you'll understand and we've spread our move-in times out to give you more time and easier access to elevators and stairwells when trying to unload and load in to our buildings. Micro fridges, an important uh, reminder, there's still time to order your micro fridge via the housing.sc.edu page. This is the place where you can get a micro fridge that has the smoke sensor device located on it. Now, I know that a lot of people like just the small mini fridge with a microwave. It needs to be a combination unit that is energy efficient and provides with the special smoke detection device. The family role during check-in. Oftentimes, people wonder, our student goes to check-in, what do we do? Well, this year, we need you to make sure that you're approved for check-in prior to starting to unload your car. So how do you know? If you go to the housing portal at my.sc.edu, once you've completed all the mandatory checklists, your parking pass will uh, be presented. Print that parking pass off for move-in. That parking pass will let you know you are com you've completed all the steps and you're ready to check in so you can begin unloading while your student is checking in. Again, your student's going to go to check in to make sure that everything's good to go and they're cleared. While they're doing that, you're either parking and waiting or you will be start the unloading process. So what is my student doing check in if I can't go? That's a great question. Here's what's happening during that check in. Residents will present a photo ID to verify themselves. Please understand you must have a photo ID to verify who you are to be presented with a Carolina card and a key for move-in. Your Carolina card will be issued to, to your resident. Residents will receive their key and it's checked into the housing system. At that point, you'll, the resident will receive a welcome home bag. Many of our campus partners have provided a wonderful drawstring bag that will include all kinds of things like a, a, a small thermometer, a Carolina card holder and lanyard, um, information about I Pledge Columbia, how to connect to your Wi-Fi. So many great things in that welcome home bag. You want to make sure you check it out immediately when you get it. Also, we have a key card. You want to make sure we have the correct information and how to contact you on that key card, and you'll need to sign it. Finally, you're cleared for move-in. So you can get started, meet up with your family, and start getting that decoration process going. Hey, you're here and you've got a problem. Something's not quite right. You need a maintenance request, you can call 803-777-FIX 
Or you can go to housing.sc.edu, download the FIX app, and have it to put in maintenance requests. Now, our FIX team is still available to help you. However, due to physical distancing, if a team member needs to uh, come to your room during the move-in process, your families that are in the rooms will be asked to vacate the room while our team completes work. So please make sure when calling that you understand the process when a fixed team member arrives. Please remember when you're decorating your room that no furniture should be moved from the apartments or the rooms. Oftentimes we've really over decorated those rooms and we're ready to go, but then we figure out, wait a minute, there's a piece of furniture I didn't account for or just doesn't fit into my plan. And so I wanna move it out. This is a big no-no. We have to keep all of our furnishings in the room or apartment that it comes with. Now, this year, to help you out, we want to uh, ask that you bring a rubber mallet if you plan to loft your bed. That's a university housing bed that is loftable. You want to take a look at that bed, use that rubber mallet, pop the frame out, and simply uh, move it to the ring that's appropriate and pop it back in. A rubber mallet is a great way to make sure that you're prepared for move-in day. Obviously, you're going to want to hang something on the wall, so make sure you're doing it the proved way to avoid unnecessary charges when you get ready to move out this coming spring. If you're dealing with a, huh, if you're dealing with a wall that's sheetrock, make sure to use a push pin or um, some type of um, bulletin board pin that leaves a very small hole to hang things. If you're dealing with a concrete wall that is painted, you can use command strips. But when you get ready, ready to leave or you need to relocate it, leave the hook there. Our team will remove the command strip the proper way to not damage the wall and make you incur undue charges. Setting up your computer and Wi-Fi. Our Do It team on campus has a help center that can help you get your computer up and running. And this year, we'll be changing Wi-Fi networks to EDU Rome. In your welcome bag, there'll be a special instruction sheet to help you connect to the Wi-Fi. We've been adding additional uh, wireless hotspots throughout our residence halls, and we can't wait to show off our new system in just a few weeks. During the move-in process, there'll be capacity signs lo uh, located throughout the residence halls, including the elevators. Elevators are restricted to a limited number of guests during the move-in process. With all kind of dollies, carts, and boxes, it should provide ample space for you to have those and to socially distance in the proper manner. We have some expectations as a resident calling Carolina home and living in our buildings. First off, at the, end of, at the conclusion of each day, we will have a mandatory floor meeting beginning at 6 p.m. You'll need to make sure all residents report to their RM's designated area on their floor to have this meeting. This is an important meeting this year as we'll be covering a number of important tasks and things that will need to take place as a member of our community. We have a lot of enhanced wellness things that you will notice. There's signs and other things that have been cut off or added to ensure that we're all staying healthy and safe. So please visit our move in site, sc.edu slash move in under enhanced wellness. You'll find everything from move-in enhanced wellness to how your communities will work in this special section. Roommate agreements have probably never been more important. A roommate agreement will be talked about in that floor meeting and your RM can give you lots of details. Roommate agreements are your agreement between the people living with you about how you're gonna deal with your room. This is important now because sometimes there's gotta be that physical distancing you may wanna encounter even in your room. Or how can another person on the floor come and visit? What does that look like? This are, these are things that you and your roommates are gonna to have to work through as you get ready to call Carolina home. The Gamecock roll call notification system is another vital thing to make sure you are squared away with. On your main my.sc.edu information page, there's a place to list your cell phone. Please make, your, make sure your cell phone is your cell phone, not a parent's, and make sure it is up to date before you arrive. Our Gamecock roll call notification system is our system in housing to notify you of important information concerning your residence hall. This was a vital key part 
last spring as we notified students of the ever-changing landscape that was taking place. So make sure your cell phone is updated. You receive a text message as well as an email in our Gamecock roll call system. Safety in our residence halls on and off campus is very important. You'll be discussing this uh, in depth during your floor meeting. You'll wanna get things like the Rave Guardian app and Carolina Alert to make sure you've got all the information in case of an emergency on campus. We'll also be discussing quiet hours, hours and building visitation. Quiet hours are an important part and change between the week and the weekend. So make sure you're paying close attention during your building orientation or floor meeting for the, that information. Building visitation is going to be different and looks a little different this year. Only guests that will be allowed once classes begin are other University of South Carolina students. Now with that, you'll also need to utilize your Carolina card to gain access to the residence halls 24 hours a day. We will have staff beginning at 6 p.m. They'll be manning the front desk for community building and answering of questions. You'll also be going over building evacuation protocol. If you're interested in what this is, you'll find a building evacuation protocol sheet located by the staircases and in the front lobbies of buildings. You can also find this information already on your housing portal at my.sc.edu. It'll also be important to find out how you can connect and build community in this age of COVID. Your RMs will be giving you a lot of information on how to do this. While it might not look the same as it did last year, it will be a fun and an exciting time to get to know people and experience college in a whole new way. This is our reminder. This is the mandatory checklist that you need to have completed prior to arriving to campus. You need to make sure you upload your photo to, the, to Carolina Card by August 3rd to get your Carolina Card during move-in. Renter's insurance is needed, property and liability insurance that is, is needed prior to arriving. Complete your immunizations. You can visit your My Health Space portal for more information and to upload those final immunizations. Make sure you take your COVID-19 test and upload within 14 days of move-in. For more information, you can visit sc.edu slash move-in for the different types of tests, or you can visit the Student Health Center page for more information on that, um, the test that we accept. Then you must make sure you've signed that housing contract addendum. The contract addendum is available on the housing portal of my.sc.edu and as a roadblock that you can't hurdle to go to the next page, which is printing your move-in parking pass. You must make sure you do all these important things before that move-in parking pass can be printed. Finally, don't forget to bring your photo ID to check into residence halls. That photo ID will allow you to get your Carolina card, your key, and that important welcome home um, bag. Finally, treat our home as you would treat your home. There's a lot of things that take place in residence halls, and we just encourage you to treat our home the way you would want to, it to be treated. So if you damage something, let us know, work with us, and keep Carolina a great place to live. If you need further assistance, a reminder, you can always get us on our social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, at U of SC Housing. If you need to send an email, housing at sc.edu. And finally, if you'd like to speak to someone in person, you can contact us on our main phone, 803-777-4283. Hey, if you haven't taken the pledge, don't forget to take the I Pledge Columbia pay, uh, pledge, sc.edu slash I Pledge Columbia. We all have a social responsibility and to take part. You not necessarily think of it as a me thing. Think of it as an everybody thing. We need to make sure we're keeping ourselves healthy and the people around us healthy. We're a part of something bigger. We're part of the Carolina community and the Columbia community. So take the pledge. Hey, write down the days until you call Carolina home. Use the hashtag you to uh, mark all of those photos as you're packing, as you're getting ready, and as you call Carolina home. Well, that's our presentation for this evening. We hope we answered some questions for you. 
We hope you gave, we gave you some valuable information. Now, we know that there's things you've got left to do on that checklist. So take the opportunity, visit the housing portal, and go through and make sure you've got everything taken care of. We're only a few short days away from you calling Carolina home. Now, next week, Thursday at 3 o'clock, on the main U of SC housing webpage, we'll be doing our move-in special. It'll be slightly different than this evening. We'll be hearing from folks live in the Russell House. We'll be looking at what dining looks like. We'll be talking to the police and talking about traffic patterns. You'll need to know your pattern and what way you need to travel in. That information will be online very soon. So you'll want to take a look at that. Then we've got a special news show that we'll be premiering every move-in morning at 7 a.m. My move-in morning will be hosted by Logan Rice, and we'll be telling you everything from weather to important changes or announcements that you need to know as you're getting ready to call Carolina home. It's a great way to watch on your way in or to wake up and take a look at the show before you're getting ready that day. That show will live air, at, uh, air live at U of SC Housing on Facebook. So for everyone in university housing, we hope and pray that you're doing well, and we can't wait for you to call Carolina home. We'll see you soon.